Hallelujah. Good morning, students. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to your destiny. Praise the name of the living God. We thank God again for another chance God has given us that, uh, that, we, should, uh, that we share his knowledge. Remember the Bible says that all knowledge belongs to God. So with me here, I've also uh, uh, mobilized another question, a past paper question. And that is a neck past paper question that uh, for 2022. This, uh, this uh, is one of the past papers. You can get these papers in Nairobi or in any other neck bookshops. But um, the, the past papers are good because we are able now to, uh, to access what the examiner wants and you'll be able to understand and be able to revise when, when you want to sit for these exams. Remember, these exams are not usually easy. But if you have a YouTube channel such as this, that you can subscribe and uh, uh, see some of these revision questions when we are doing together, then that becomes uh, uh, something good because two is always better than one. Two brains are always better than one. So let us now begin quickly with our question. So this is a 2022 uh, past paper question, a diploma in automotive engineering. Diploma in Mechanical Engineering and Construction Plant Module 2 question. The, it is Engineering Drawing Design. It is always three hours. So with me here, you can always start. We have the first section, Section A. Section A is always about uh, assembly drawings. These are assembly drawings, but we will not look at the assembly drawings. Uh, right now, we will look at gears. Then we have Section B, the Section B part. This is the Section B part. Then we have... Uh, number two, number three, and uh, number four, and number five. In these sections, you're only supposed to choose only three questions from these sections. So if you know about gears, gears is, I told you, it is 20 marks. If you know how to draw and construct gears and do all calculations, then you have 20 marks in your pocket. In my next videos, I will also show you how to draw this question three. You uh, comes and follow us. I will show you how to draw all this, and I will also show you how to sketch uh, how to sketch all these bearings and uh, how to draw tolerance and fits. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now quickly let us go to our past paper question. And this is our past paper question. We are tackling question number four. We are, we are tackling question we are tackling question number four. Number four is a question that we want to tackle now. Now quickly let us go to our past paper question. And the, and the question asks, and the question asks you of one is to one. The number of teeth on the gear wheel on the gear wheel is 25 and with a module of 10. So you have been given the number of teeth is 25 and being given the module is 10. And you are told the ratio is 1 is to 1. Ratio is 1 is to 1. They are meshing in a ratio of 1 is to 1. And align a pressure angle of 20 degrees. Construct two of the pinion me in mesh with three teeth of the gear wheel. Now quickly... I will show you how to calculate, how to, uh, the formulas. In the next video, I will show you how to calculate. And in the next video, I will show you how to draw. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The very first thing I told you and I've told you from the previous videos, when you see such a thing, you, when you see such a question, first, you look for the CP, look for the addendum, look for the clearance, look for the thickness, look for the dedendum, look for the PCD, the PCD of the wheel, the PCD of the pinion, the dedendum circle diameter, the dedendum circle diameter of the wheel, the dedendum circle diameter of the pinion, and the addendum circle diameter. Look for the addendum circle diameter of the wheel and look for the addendum circle diameter of the pinion. But in this question, we are told the ratio is 1 is to 1. So, quickly... You must know these formulas. These formulas must be in your head. How do we look for the CP? CP is always equals to pi times module or pi times addendum. Why? Addendum is always equals to module. So here we can simply uh, uh, substitute or replace module with addendum or substitute addendum with module. Then the next thing you look for is the clearance. Clearance is always equals to CP divided by 20. After you've looked for the CP using these formulas, divided by 20, you will find your clearance. Then look for the thickness. Thickness is always equals to CP divided by 2. CP divided by 2. Then look for the dedendum. Dedendum is equals to clearance plus addendum. After you've looked for the clearance, which is CP divided by 20, then you substitute this value here and add it to addendum. Addendum is always equals to module. So if you've been given the module is equals to 10, addendum is equals to 10. So here you will substitute your values here and look for and have the addendum. 
Dendam is also very important. Why? We use dendam to calculate the dendam circle diameter. There is a difference between the dendam and the dendam circle diameter. Then look for the PCD. The PCD in general is always equal to number of teeth times module. But in this case, since we have two gears that are meshing, that is the pinion and the wheel, if we look for the PCD of the wheel and the PCD of the pinion. The formula is still the same. It is the number of the wheels times module. Number of the wheels times module. For the pinion, it will be number of pinion, number of, of, of the teeth in pinion times module. Then the next feature we look for is the dendam circle diameter. In general, the dendam circle diameter is always equals to PCD minus 2 the dendam. But in this case, you have been told there is a pinion and there is a wheel. So what do we do? We look for PCD of the wheel and the PCD and the, 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 the dendam, sorry, the, the dendam circle diameter of the wheel and the, the dendam circle diameter of the Pinion. Then look for the addendum circle diameter. The addendum circle diameter of the wheel will be PCD minus 2 addendum, the PCD of the wheel. The addendum circle diameter of the pinion will be PCD of the pinion minus 2 addendum. Addendum circle diameter is always equal to PCD plus 2 addendum. That is the general formula. But in this case, you have been given the pinion and the wheel. What do we do? We look for the addendum circle diameter of the wheel and look for the addendum circle diameter of the pinion. So the addendum circle diameter of the wheel will be PCD of the wheel plus 2 addendum. The addendum circle diameter of the pinion will be PCD of the pinion plus 2 addendum. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In my next video, I will now show you how to actually put all these values into actual calculations so as to draw and mesh the gears.